Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Valiant Smashers, the latest collector rare set. These are pretty standard fare, you guys know the drill. Uh, we get three guaranteed ultra rares and then one super rare in the other 21 packs. Uh, and then other than that, everything else is a rare. In this case, the rares are essentially commons. Um, and these things kind of are hit or miss. We've been on a pretty good streak with getting collector rares in these uh, sets. There are a couple quarter century rares in this one, which makes it a little bit different than Wild Survivors and uh, Maze of Memories being the last uh, handful. But other than that, it, it, it's a little bit, uh, you know, you can watch other people's thoughts on it. You can, you know, I've given my thoughts and my take on it before. You know, it's, you kind of sometimes wish you get a little bit more. Um, they're, they're deck building sets, but they always kind of drop new archetypes in them. You know, we got the Centurion and Balmonicas, but then they bury all the, all the necessary cards as ultras, and then you don't even get them on it until uh, they release support for them down the road. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's difficult. I think is the as the kickoff for the set, but we'll go through them, um, and hopefully our luck holds with getting collector rares, or we get one of those quarter century rares. Uh, Arch Lord Christia is uh, a quarter century in this set, so uh, maybe we'll get our first quarter century that isn't uh, guaranteed in the uh, like rarity collection. So we'll go through it here. We got Draco. Okay, we got our first Valmonica card, which is Demono Valmonica. And then Summoner Monk, which is a reprint, terraforming his band. <laughs> uh, and then Memento Lillian, or Memento Mictlan. We got Arch Nemesis, we got Synchro Transmission, we got Memento Tal, Memento Tlin Mace, and then. Same glass of light and dark, and we got an Archlord Christia rare. But like I said, hit or miss uh, in terms of what they're what they're worth. If you get something good, obviously some of these ultra rares are really good. The Centurion uh, ones. We got Dark Honest here as well, and then we got uh, Zebufera Valmonican of uh, Hallow Heathen. We got a Call of the Haunted reprint. This has got to be like the 40th print of that. Valhalla, Hall of the Fallen, Colossal Fighter, and then Honest, which is also in here as a collector rare. So Honest and Dark Honest, both in as collector rares in this set. But the uh, the Centurion, I don't think we're supposed to pronounce Centurion, but Centurion are uh, pretty good ultra rares. To get they are holding up value wise. Memento Tlin Tatsu no Tushigo Imperial Custom. We got Memento Lan, Horned Dragon, Magic Planter, and then Terraforming. Gonna be stacking out the banned cards here. Have some other ones. We got Foolish Burial, it's a good print to have. Always a good card. We got Draco Berserker Tinyi. We got Memento Talan Dark Blade. It's just a super. Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood is a reprint there. We got Trick Clown. We got Memento Mictlan. Haven't had any ultra hits. We're working our way through the first stack pretty fast. Do have a couple interesting videos coming up for you guys. Have a pretty big Pokemon haul uh, just for some variety. And then some other good videos coming up. Be on the lookout for Mech Lord. We got Valmonica Intonare, Memento Gland Fractured Dance. We got Babuska, the Tapir. Man got done dirty with the uh, the Lost Art version. is much better, obviously, uh, since he's uh, hidden the bottle in that one. This one he's not. He got censored. I like the uh, Lost Art one better. I think it's hilarious. Dark Honest here. We got Mechlord Emperor Weisel. Okay, so we're out of order, so we might have a good hit here. We got Protecting Spirit Logoleth. And we got Valmonica Celta as our first ultra rare here. Um, you know, we'll take it. It is out of order. 
Not a collector rare. Thought we might have been on something good there. So Val Monica Celta is not a not a terrible card, but not a not up there in the uh, not up there in the tier of the ones that really hit the center ions or the and like Imbla um, as well are the best ultra rares in the set. So Imbla Oath and uh, the center ion cards. But Val Monica Celta will take getting at least one here. We got Angelo. Val Monica. There can only there can be only one. I always say there can be only or there can only be one. There can be only one. There can be only one if it's not uh, forbidden or limited, which it should be. It should be a forbidden card. I feel like it is. Pretty sure that everyone wants it banned in Master Duel. If it's if it's not banned in a. Uh, on the forbidden list, it, it's definitely one that everyone wants to hit. Demono Valmonica again. So we got Demono and uh, Angelo. So Angelo and Demon. Mm -hmm. All right, we've only got one. I'm okay if we can go into two to column two and not get any hits until then. We got Duraloom, Valmonicon, Heathley Hallow, Call of the Haunted. Again, Magic Planter, Angel of Zera. You know, second stack magic. That's what we're going for, right? Second stack. Draco again, Advanced Draw. We got Centurion Bonds. It's just a super rare here. Summoner Monk, we got a play set up now. Valhalla, Hall of the Fallen. Stained Glass of Light and Dark. We got Arch Lord Christia as well. Last pack, first stack. Hopefully we're gonna hit big in the second stack. That's what we gotta count on. Foolish Burial, and then Zabufara, uh, Valmonican Hallow Heathen. Zabufara as well, I don't know what his name is, but Zabufara, because he's a goof. And then Abominable. This set's been to me. It's been abominable. Let's go get that. Oops. Gotta reach over and get that second stack. If Celta was a collector rare, it would have been great, but it is what it is. Second stack magic. So we got two ultra rares coming up somewhere in this stack for sure. Or a minimum of two ultra rares. Hopefully something better. We got Dark Honest. We got Arch Enemus Eshatos. Stand up Centurion. And then Protecting Spirit, there can be only one, Colossal Fighter, and Terraforming. And we got TCBOO's name correct on the first go that time. We got Synchro Transmission, we got Mech Lord, Emperor Granny, Valmonica, Intonare, Imperial Custom, Mech Lord, Emperor Wiesel, Honest, and Magic Planter. We got Apophis, the Swamp Deity. We got Supply Squad. Oh, we got Out of Order now, Abessella Lutea, Summoner Monk. We've got Centurion, Primera is, I think, the best, oops, getting out of focus here, the best ultra rare in the set, currently by value. Uh, maybe Emblema, Emblema Oath is better by value, but I'm gonna put this bad boy right into a sleeve and then right into a top loader one man's gonna be listed yeah i get some value back from this set going probably 30 something so take a good look here nice decent card he's going big good hit good hit good hit Luck's turning around. We can get like another one of those. I don't know if you can ever get two copies of the same Ultra in a pack, but, or in a box, but if we can get that or Emblema Oath, we'll, we'll be in the go. That Monica followed Rhythm. We got Memento, Memento, Memento. 
perform an age trick clown. I'm gonna have to tag this video like with the movie Memento in it. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that name anymore. Val Monica I can get, but Memento Memento Clan. Arch Nemesis, we got Draco, Centurion, Phalanx, Imperial Custom, Boguska, Christia, Colossal Fighter, wrapping us out. Not looking good for the home team. Foolish Burial, Apophis, the Swamp Deity. We got Memento Clan Mace, Call of the Haunted, Loageth, Abominable Snowman, Stained Glass of Light and Dark. Imagine if you were uh, in a store, in a local store, pulling out of the first stack, you'd be, you'd be angry. Advanced draw, we've got Valmonica Versare, Mech Lord Emperor Wiesel, there can be only one, got it right again. Honest, I'm just gonna have to keep a running tab of a uh, number of times I get it correct, number of times I get it wrong. Supply Squad, Gravity Collapse, Memento Clan, Dark Blade, Valhalla, Hall of the Fallen, Ghost Sister, we got Memento Clan, Cranium Burst, and Terraforming. All right, four packs. Can we get four packs? Get at least one good hit here for sure. We don't have our third Ultra yet. Granel, we got Tatasu no Shigo. Boguska, Call of the Haunted, we got Performage Trick Clown, The Abominable Snowman. All right, let's see what we got. Boneback, Supply Squad again, Valmonica Chosen Medley, we got Imperial Custom, Horn Dragon, Angel of Zera, Colossal Fighter, and we're down to two packs. So are we going to literally be down to the last pack to get our third ultra rare? It is not. Hopefully. Memento Goblin. We got Apophis the Swamp Deity. Valhalla Hall of the Fallen. We got, we're out of order so this is a hit pack. We got Mementolin Bone Party. And I don't know where this one falls but I don't think it's very high on the uh, value list. Christia, Stained Glass of Light and Dark. So maybe this pack is the plus one collector rare. Maybe, maybe not. Let's hit it up. Last pack magic. Arch Nemesis, Draco. And then we got Centurion, the True Awakening. And then Fracture Dance, Summoner Monk, Magic Planter, Cranium Burst wraps us out. Best hit of the pack was Centurion Primera. Um, Probably about 30 bucks in the end. Two others, total bone party, and we got Celta, Valmonica Celta as well. Like I said, collector rare sets, they're hit or miss with only three ultra rares guaranteed. Um, but at least it's not Legacy uh, Legendary Duels, Duels from the Deep, which is only $16 a box now. Uh, so, I mean, at least there's some value in this now. So, um, we'll catch you on the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care